hello everyone so today I'm going to work on this uh, idle animation so when the bike is stopped character is going to stay in this animation pose he's going to keep one leg uh, one foot in the ground and when it moves uh, it keep both foot on the pedals and also when reversing it does this so right so it uh, reverse the bicycle using foot okay so let's see how to do those things today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support right so now in this system this bicycle can uh, move around like this everything is working but when i stop the biker stays like this he doesn't uh, keep one foot on the ground to make to keep the balance he just stays there and also when reverse uh, nothing happens so i am going to first fix the character like when he stays still he should keep one foot on the ground and when reverse he should uh, use his foot to reverse the bicycle right so first uh, let me i have uh, imported these two animations this is for reversing and this one is for idle all right so here is the bike blueprint and let me open the bike uh, animation blueprint uh, this is what we have at the moment so right and as we can see here uh, the character is keeping the right foot on the ground Okay, so let's create a 1d blend space using this idle and reverse back paddling Animation blend space 1d mm, Mannequin Idle reverse. Oh. Bicycle idle and reverse. Right. So in here, I'll add the idle animation. Mm -hmm. Axis settings. We have 0 to 100, okay. At the 100, I, or maybe at 50, I'll add the back paddling. Like this. Right. Now, uh, uh, let me add this animation blend space. And to the bike animation blueprint oh. oh we can't directly add it so let's add a new no, actually we can directly drag and drop let me drag and drop this one and this uh, parameter should be linked to the to a speed but at the moment we don't have any speed parameter let me create one for speed right and so as you can see here only the right leg is responsible for the for the idle part and for the reversing part actually both legs are used here but I think we can manage it with only one leg uh, so let's play these animations uh, 
let's do a layered blend it. Layered blend purple. This and Right now as the bone, let's use the right leg. Can we see it now? Let's really use tyr. See what happens there now. All right. Uh, no, I don't think this type of a blending would work. So, so let's use uh, and process by wood. So this one. By default, uh, the value should be false. Uh, well, actually, instead of that, maybe we can check if the speed is less or equal to a very small value, let's say 0.4. So we only need to worry about checking the speed. By default, speed is zero. So yeah, let me check now. Right, if I here yeah, if I stop playing, actually at the moment I am not updating the speed, but still character is keeping his legs like this. That's a good start. So now we need to find a way to update this speed value. Right. So we can use in the event graph. We already have this try get pawn owner. From this, we can get velocity. From the velocity, we can calculate the speed. We can get the vector length. And also, from the pawn owner, yeah, let me duplicate this. So here we are going to set the speed uh, from this one also we can get acceleration this is the interface I set up to uh, determine the rotation the cogwheel should rotate so we can multiply this one the velocity with the acceleration and we can set it as the speed but i'm not sure what kind of a value we get here so therefore let me print this value right so we get values up to thousand and when I reverse same up to uh, 2000 we definitely need to find a way to limit that so anyway the, from that what we can learn is uh, this acceleration can be uh, if the acceleration uh, here what we need to do, uh, we only need to uh, know if the acceleration is minus if it is minus that means we are reversing 
so we can check if it is less than zero if yes let me disconnect this let's do a selection here if it is less than zero we will use minus one otherwise plus one right now oh now we once i press s or reverse button character goes to the idle position which is not suitable So I think uh, we need to have some other additional parameter here to control that. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, we can get the forward vector of uh, the bicycle and then do uh, a dot product between the forward vector and the velocity. And what if I use that? for the speed this should give me a better result right it does so wait one moment let me connect this here as so. well oh actually the speed right it is working uh, the only problem is here i haven't set this for minus values so let me put uh, let me change the minimum to minus 100 and maximum to zero this one i put here this is minus 40 here now it should work properly yeah it is working but now i need to control the speed right so yeah actually uh, i need to do further research on how to limit the speed and how to limit the reverse speed uh, to make it uh, look good to a certain level uh, but I'm gonna stop this episode right here because at the moment I'm not sure how to do that all right and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available for the download through patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club See you in another episode. Goodbye.